So you spoke to your psychiatrist and they want to change your medication. In this video I'm going to give my advice on what to expect when changing psychiatric medication. <laughs> you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi hello i'm lydia please consider hitting the subscribe button to join our growing family we're aiming to reach 10k by the end of the year i know we can do it if we work together share my account let's raise awareness so changing medication is stressful there's side effects to take into consideration and if you're in america there's the question of will it cost more can i afford it i mean i'm not american so please take that with a pinch of salt because I've never been to America. Please feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. The first experience I had was with antidepressants. Now the first antidepressant I was on was fluoxetine, also known as Prozac. And my god, it sent me manic. <laughs> Which led to my first hospital admission. Well, obviously I was taken off it. <laughs> I was started on lithium at a thousand milligrams no builds up just straight on to a thousand milligrams the hospital i was in was really bad and it got shut down but i was because the lithium reacted badly to me i had i stopped taking it and i went on to another antidepressant called citalopram now citalopram wasn't a good choice for me it decreased my appetite and i was diagnosed with anorexia so it wasn't the best decision made. It got very serious with that. I let them increase the dose because I was happy because I was losing weight. And then eating disorder services got involved and they stopped the medication. The next antidepressant I was on was sertraline. Now sertraline, I can't really remember it that well. If you're interested in my experience with medication, I'll link a video up on the iCard where I go over the medications that I've been on. The transition between different antidepressants was always because the thing in my mind was, is it going to send me manic? Then we start with antipsychotics. The first antipsychotic I was put onto was quetiapine, also known as Seroquel. Now, me and Seroquel, it is weird saying that, I'm going to say quetiapine. Me and quetiapine was... <laughs> A love hate relationship. I loved it because it let me got me to sleep. I've always had problems with sleep. Even when I was a kid, I had issues. So when I was going on some medication to help me sleep, I was very happy. Getting back to the subject of the video, changing medication was difficult. The Seroquel I had a love hate relationship with, and eventually I got stopped because I was putting on so much weight. I, I was really unhappy, and it didn't help my psychotic symptoms. So I was put on to Clopixel. I was on a very low dose of 10 milligrams. And honestly, I reacted really badly to it. Then there are other antipsychotics that I got put on to try. And the only one that's worked is Haloperidol, which is what I'm on now. When I was changing medications, it was always what are the new side effects gonna be? The truth about changing medications is you never know what you But say the transition for me from quetiapine to haloperidol, that transition took time because I was on 600 milligrams of quetiapine and I was starting out on 0 0.5 milligrams of haloperidol. So they kind of switched place because my psychiatrist at the time didn't want to just take me off the quetiapine she wanted to lower it slowly i think that's the thing with medication is it's so difficult when you're trying to find the right medication for you because there are so many medications out there and they all have a list of side effects and now if you react to it good then congratulations it's when the side effects make you worse. So I take haloperidol twice a day at five milligrams. Things to remember when you're changing medication. One, don't expect the worst. Two, I know for me with 
Haloperidol, I was put onto Procyclovir. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> because I was really stiff. But I'm stiff anyway because I have arthritis in most of my joints. And I have had since I was 17. Oh my god, that's 10 years in December. Oh my god. But yeah, it's. I want you guys to remember that changing medication isn't scary. You have to go into it with an open mind. Because you never know when you're going to find your miracle drug. I remember I was on Lamotrigine for two weeks, I think it was. And I got a rash. So I spoke with my GP and my GP told me not to take it. If you're interested in my Lamotrigine journey, I'll link it up on the iCard because I, I did I did make videos when I was on it and it did, it did work with my mood but I had to stop it because of like a rash so danger zone so yeah that's all I've got for this video if you're new subscribe make sure you check out some of my other videos I talk about all different things there's plenty of playlists thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video peace